Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio, and in this tutorial we are going to go through the steps of creating a Facebook page plugin, which you can see here, and putting that onto your Shopify store. So you've probably seen this on a lot of different blogs and other online sites, and it's a great way to boost your social media presence as well as kind of get people familiar with interacting with you in other places online. So what you will do first is you will go to Google and just Google a Facebook page plugin. That's what Facebook is now calling it. Uh, it was called before a like box. Um, so you may have heard of that terminology before then. However, now they've renamed it to the page plugin. So once you get to the page plugin area, you'll come into this page. And so this is the example of what it's going to look like. So what we're going to do first is you would type in the Facebook page URL. Now I'm already logged into my Facebook account, so it's automatically populated my page. However, you can go and just copy the URL to your Facebook page that you want to show and paste that here. The really great thing is, is that as we're building this out, you can see how the whole plugin is going to look. So scrolling down here, you can see how that's going to show up on your site. So we'll go in and change some of these settings now. So for example, you could choose to use a small header, which is this image here. So that is my cover image. I'm going to hop over here to my Facebook page. So you can see this image here is my large cover image, and that's getting added in here. So if we hit use small header, it's just going to shorten that up. So I happen to like the larger header, so we'll keep that there. You can also choose to do no cover photo by clicking that. So that's just a white area. Again, I do like that image. One thing to always keep is this adapt to plugin container width. So that's going to scale it as your site scales. So it'll still look really great on mobile devices. You can also choose to hide or show your friends. So this will be any people that already like your page that is a friend of someone that is looking at this now. It'll show their friends, not necessarily yours. Uh, so you can see what that looks like there. So we will keep that on. And then the last thing here is you can see that there's this timeline view. So this is showing the recent post from the site that I've done on my Facebook page. So I don't want that to show just because it does get pretty long and then you do have that scroll bar. So I am just going to delete out where it says timeline there. And then now you'll see that edit again to where it's not showing. Now I've already liked my Facebook page. However, if you haven't liked yours yet, you would see this icon here of the Facebook and that would be blue. So that's where that would be different. Okay, so this is exactly what we want it to look like on our site. So we are going to hit the get code button here. And it's going to give us two different bits of code. So some of that's going to be some that we need to put into our actual Shopify theme. And then the other code is going to be where we want it to be placed on the site. So we're going to copy this first. This is what's going to go into the Shopify theme. So you can see the instructions here. It says right after the opening body tag. So we're just going to copy that. And then we're going to go to the back end of our Shopify store. So once we're in the back end of our Shopify store, we're going to go to online store under sales channels and then themes. And this is the theme that we have active. So we're going to hit this button and hit edit HTML and CSS. This is now pulling up all the different files of our theme. So you want to make sure that you're very careful here because if you make an edit, it will you know, change your, your site and it can be harder to come back from. So we're only going to be editing this theme.liquid file that's under the layout folder. So you'll click on that to open it. And if you remember, you saw that it wanted it to be placed after the opening body tag. So here we have the opening body tag. So you'll just search this file and see where the body tag is. It is going to be up closer towards the top though. And I'm just going to hit enter twice and I'm going to paste that there. Okay, that's pasted it in. And now we're just going to hit save. Okay, so now we're going to go back for the second bit of code. So we're back on our page plugin area and we're going to copy this code and this is going to be wherever we want it to show up on the site. So I want it to show up on my, this is my fake site right here. I want it to show up on my About Us page to add a little bit extra here. So this is what it looks like now. It's pretty boring. So we're going to go in and add that. 
So back into the Shopify backend area. We are still on the back end of the theme editing. So we don't need this area now. So you're going to go to online store again under sales channels. And now we're going to go to pages. And I'm going to click on my about us page. So this is that sample text about us here that you saw on the about page. But instead of just pasting it here, since it is actual code, we're going to hit this show HTML button over here. And I'm going to just go down a line and I'm going to paste my code. Okay, and then switch back and I'm going to hit save. So now we can go in, once this finished saving, we can see what that looks like on the front end of the store. Of course, as I said again, you don't want to paste that here, otherwise that's just going to output the code and it's not going to be correct. So you want to make sure you definitely do hit this show HTML button. So let's go to the front end of our store and see how this looks. Great, and so now this is showing the Facebook page plugin now, so where people can instantly like it um, and be, get connected to this page. So they can click here to go to it straight on Facebook or they could just hit like to automatically like it. And you can post this anywhere on your site that you would like. Thanks so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more tutorials coming your way on helping you build your Shopify store. Thanks.